Hello! In this video, we'll take a look at how to set up the Raspberry Pi to connect to a Windows shared folder. Let's get started. On the Raspberry Pi, we'll open up a terminal window. We'll start off by pressing Shift Control Plus a few times to make the font larger so it's easier to read. Center that a little bit. We'll start off by typing sudo space apt space update. This command updates the current list of available packages. It only takes a second to run. So now that that's done, we'll type in sudo space apt space install space smb client and sifs utils. This command will install SMB client and SIFS utils, which we need to connect the Pi to a Windows share. Go ahead and press return. This goes pretty quickly. And now that's done. So now we'll type in PWD, which will show us our present working directory. You can see it's slash home slash Pi. We're gonna create a directory using MKDIR and I'm just going to call this WinShare, but you can call it whatever you'd like. The purpose of the WinShare folder is to be the mount point for a connection to the Windows shared folder. Next, we'll type in sudo space mount dot sifs space slash slash. And here you'll type in your computer name. For me, I set up a computer called PyTest and I set up the share to be called test. Next, we'll specify the mount point, which is the WinShare folder that we just set up. So we'll type in slash home slash pi slash WinShare. And now dash O for options. And we're going to type in user equal administrator. Now this administrator user for me is the administrator account that's on my Windows computer. I didn't change the default. I just left it as administrator but you can change the name, you can create a new ID, whatever you'd like to do, but here you'll type in user equal and then your username. So now we press return, and it's asking for the password, so I'm gonna type in my password for my administrator user. And now when we type in cd space winshare, and type in ls, you'll see nothing's there. That's because my share has got no files in it. So what I'm going to do is type in touch space test.txt. You'll see here that permission is denied. And at first I thought I didn't set up my share correctly. In reality, what's happening is we created the share using sudo. And sudo is a way of us temporarily switching to the root user. So the root user actually owns this WinShare folder. And I'm using the Pi user to try and create a file. And that's where I'm getting the permission denied. So if I were to type in sudo space touch space test.txt, you'll see that that's OK. And now when I type in ls, you'll see the test.txt file is there. Now there's another way to run the mount.sifs command so that the Pi user owns this WinShare folder so that we don't have to use sudo when we're trying to create files. We'll unmount this share by typing sudo space umount space slash home slash pi slash WinShare. Oh, I forgot. We need to get out of this folder and then type the command sudo space u mount space slash home slash pi slash winshare and now that folder has been unmounted to set up this mount as the pi user we'll type in sudo space mount dot sifs space slash slash pi test slash test again that's the name of my computer and the name of the share slash home slash pi slash winshare is my mount point minus o user equal administrator 
comma uid equal pi comma gid equal pi. Using uid equal pi and gid equal pi, we'll tell the mount.sithes command that the pi user should own this mount. Go ahead and press return. I'll type in my password. Now we'll cd to the winshare folder. And you can see that that test.txt is still there. So this time I'm going to run the touch command again, but I'm not going to use sudo. And we'll type in test2.txt. Test2.txt file is there now, and I was able to create it without having to run sudo. To unmount a Windows share, again, we have to be sure that we are not in the folder that is part of the mount point. Now we'll type in sudo space umount space and then our mount point, which was home slash pi slash windshare. And now we've disconnected. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Stay creative.